Hello there. Uh, it's a short video about uh, noisy roofs, uh, GRP, glass reinforced plastic roofing system. Sometimes can create a noise. <clears throat> and we've got um, a roof, 200 meters square roughly, you can see on here, with a sedum on top of that. And um, we, it's about five years old, the roof now, and we've just had some rectification work done and solved the problem, which is good. Um, so the issue being on here is that it turns out we've got a noisy roof in the middle of the night you'll hear cracks and booms and bangs going on and it turns out when you do the maths what's going on here is it's thermal expansion and, and where have we got the decking here which is made from GRP this stuff here it's thermal expansion rate is different to the insulation that sits underneath it <coughs> and it's enough there's a 12 meter run on there and if that changes 20 degrees the roof or the GRP expands by 12 millimeters and I've actually measured it and it does happen the insulation expands at roughly twice that rate so that's the noise and for us the problem was when we laid the insulation we followed best guidance practice and we laid it very very tightly no gaps all filled foam so of course if you think about it You've got a situation where the roof has thermal expansion gaps and you can see we've got three on there one two three and these allow uh, a breaks all the way through to the insulation and then it allows the this surface here to expand and of course it, it's got room to expand and contract on these joints but the insulation had none and that was it so our rectification um, was to actually we've just you can see on the different color we, we cut a slot in here and we fed a chainsaw down into the insulation we cut it about three quarters of the way through the thickness of the insulation and then resealed back over this so the work we've done on the roof hasn't penetrated below the, the water level it's above that so, so therefore there should be no problems in the future on that and the net result is, yeah, it's a winner. Uh, noise has not gone away completely, but the big booms have gone. You might get a tick and a crack, probably the same as a normal house. So really, for us, it's a bit of a win. We're really pleased. And I'll just show you a diagram to show what I mean, what we've done to clarify that, because there's a lot of sort of mixed stuff going on on the internet. So you can see it's this, uh, it's, got, it's just down to science. It's thermal expansion rates on it. And indeed, we even have here, to prove on here, we've actually had a crack through here. So there you go. And this is our, our lovely house, and you can see that it's a massive retort in the distance. You just see it, there you go, very impressive. But uh, anyway, I'll just do a quick drawing to show you what I mean and what we've done. But I hope it's helpful. Um, and uh, with any GRP roof uh, that you use, we used uh, the top step of the roofing thing, it'd be 100% all the way through the summer. So we came here actually to uh, do the fix and the repair on this. And um, it's a good job done. I'm very happy with that. Uh, so this is what, what, what's going on there. So in effect on our roofing system we've got a simple decking board and rafters below that. We've then got our king span or PIR insulation, poly iso urate I think it's called insulation. Talking about quite a lot there, probably about 180 millimeters. Then we've got a top deck on there and then we've got on the top deck we've got thermal expansion gaps roughly every three meters across the width and then we've got the roof which is the GRP layer there it is so what we've done is to cut through here little slot in the top there we then cut through the insulation to three quarters of the way through there then we've repacked this with back with other insulation mineral wool on there and then resealed over the top there so now the insulation or well, the roof temperature if you think about there the outside of the roof temperature can get up to 60 60 degrees plus uh, on pure sunshine uh, even though it's got sedums and seams of the same, but down here, of course, you're at 20 degrees, roughly, in the house. Of course, you've got this temperature gradient, so we didn't need to cut all the way through. It's only about 50% to 75% to allow the top on, on the temperature gradient to expand and contract, and that's as simple as it is. But one of the main things was that when we actually put the insulation in, our mistake, we followed guidelines and it said that the, the boards should be pushed up against each other. Well, we sealed them so tight to make a complete raft, a floating raft. And of course, that was our bugbear. And that's why some roofs, if they've been laid fairly loosely, you've left gaps in your insulation where the boards meet and join all the way around, it can expand and contract into that, but we didn't. So that was our, our, our downfall, if you like, on that. 
Um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a simple enough cure, but um, it seems to be quite effective. And the other thing is that despite the five years of booms and cracks in the night, there is no indication whatsoever to any damage to or cracking going on, on the surface here or here or here or anywhere. The whole roof is looking good because we've had it inspected and looked at it and we've come thumbs up. So although it's a, a large noise, in actual fact it doesn't seem to be causing any mechanical problems. Now whether the insulation is struggling underneath, I can't tell because you'll never know, but it just seems great. Anyway, hope this is all helpful uh, for those people who are struggling with noisy roofs and I'm not saying this is a cure for everything but I'm saying certainly in our instant overnight success and very cost-effective to do and very simple um, uh, and that's the way forward.